Okay, here we go, playing Battlefield 1, of course this came out on Friday, unless you paid different money or on different consoles or something. This this didn't have one release date, this is a bit of a confusing release. But for everybody else, this came out on Friday, and I have the week off work, I've been playing it all weekend. Uh, I've been playing through, played through the single player campaign, I've played through all the multiplayer types, and this is the last multiplayer mode I came to play. This is War Pigeons, and I decided to do a special video about this one separately, because, to my knowledge, this is different from any other competitive shooter mode that is out there. I've never seen anything like it. This first example of this sort of thing I've seen before. So I thought we'll have a bit of a, a bit of a watch of it. Here's a quick match. Matches usually last about 10 minutes, so it's this is more one of those just pop in and play sort of matches. The whole point of these matches, see this bloke here, has picked up the pigeon. A pigeon is spawned on the map, and you have to, both teams compete for it. You have to hold on to it long enough so that the guy with it can write a message and send it off. And then it calls in artillery. Uh, I did find out the last match I played, I didn't realise for a while. Jesus Christ. You can shoot the pigeon after they can release it to send the message and it can be killed in the air. Just to put a stop to it. And our pigeon guy is dead. The enemy's got it, sons of bitches. So here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan normally of competitive multiplayer shooters. Uh, but Battlefield has always been the exception. Ah, and that's why, uh, because I suck at them mainly. But Battlefield is enough going on that, just what, I like that. Kick in the face, stab in the neck, and then he got shot. Because war is hell. Uh, they say war never changes, but, you know, there's no miniguns here. So, yeah, war does change. Anyway, I'm usually more single player focused with games. Also means you can't, if you are bad at them, no one knows. Uh, oh, I got one hit. I'm going to die from that. Hey, you gotta go with a pistol. Did not expect that. Yeah, anyway, I'm normally single player focused because I'm not that good on the multiplayer modes. Uh, I have lucky streaks and unlucky streaks. Uh, so far, it's a lucky streak. Basically, if I can get the kill death ratio to one, then I'm usually quite happy. Uh, to, that, that's me doing well, to my mind. There's a guy somewhere. No, 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 run away. Sick of being killed. Ah, they chase me, as they do. Anyway, yeah, I'm usually more single-player focused. But Battlefield has always been a bit different for me. Um, I didn't I haven't played all the Battlefields. The last Battlefield game I played was 3. 4 just looked to me like Battlefield 3. Just a bit prettier, so I didn't bother with it. And Hardline, was it? I had no interest in, because I, well, I want a military game. You know, I don't want cops and robbers. That just seems a bit of an odd thing for me, so I never played those two. But this one intrigued me. Um, World War One seemed very good. Single player is pretty good. So I thought I'd give this mode a go because it just seems a bit different. So you have to. It's first to three, as you can see from the counter at the top there. You have to capture the pigeon, hold on to it long enough to send off a message. Once the message is sent off, uh, no, it hasn't happened yet. It's still uneven. So once the pigeon is sent off successfully, oh, where's that pigeon? Catch the pigeon. You need that dick dastardly cartoon theme tune. Uh, once the pigeon is sent off, a uh, massive artillery strike is called down. And yeah, you do that three times and then you win. Hurrah. Oh, I don't see you. He's not going to come through there. He's going to try and flank me. I'll run around this. And I just want to highlight this mode, say, because to my admittedly limited knowledge, this is a unique mode. I've never seen anything like this myself. Um, but then I don't play a lot of. Compared to multiplayer games, this guy—I am enjoying this game at the moment. I've got about 20 hours on it at the moment. This has been playing since Friday, and I'm about to get killed by that sniper asshole. Unless I can sneak around him, which I don't think I will be able to, because people have eyes and people are better than AI. So let's sneak up here and get him. Oh, this could be a moment of greatness. It could be a moment of greatness. Oh, it's a moment of greatness. Was there another one? He's obviously got down. Got down and funky with it. So yeah, I am really enjoying this one. And this is... This is... I, I do quite like this map. Uh, I liked it more when I first played it. It's pretty easy to get around, but I do still quite enjoy it. Quite a few... I like when the fighting goes on sort of outside of the town a bit more. It's feeling a bit different. You're squatting behind sand dunes and that to avoid fire. This is the Tatooine. I don't know what any of these maps are called. So I call this the Tatooine map. Also, the Endor maps just set in a forest in northern France somewhere. 
and I just got killed to try to bayonet someone because I'm not very intelligent. Uh, yeah, there's the the Endor. I call it the Endor map. I quite like it. It's like a, a foresty, thick forest map with a train track running through the middle of it. Uh, that's probably my favourite map, actually. Not really seen any bad maps yet. I uh, don't even think there are that many maps, to be honest. Uh, but I never played Battlefront because it was multiplayer only. Uh, so this is my Battlefront. I mean, it's, it's full of people from f far away places that speak in funny ways. All trying to kill each other. So, it, it, all intents and purposes, this is Battlefront. God damn it. Ah, okay, so gas does. That's something I wasn't 100% sure about. I wasn't sure whether gas actually did any damage to you or just dis distorted your vision. Uh, it does distort your vision. You can wear gas masks. The trade-off with that, if you wear a gas mask, is you can't use iron sight aiming. Which, of course, means you're not as accurate. Oh, all the way out here? Really? The enemy has Looks like... Well, they've released... There's a pigeon. Shoot the pigeon. Pigeons have a message, right? Here we go. So some artillery is going to come down from somewhere. I've never actually watched this happen. Oh, on me. Okay, right. There it is. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, good God. I'd say get indoors, but the other thing I really like about this game is getting indoors does, ah, does not guarantee safety. Oh, yes. Take that. That was purely intentional. I meant to kill that guy. That was who I was aiming at. Um... Yeah, the good thing about this, you'll take cover inside a building and think you're safe, and then you'll suddenly realise, Christ, I'm playing Battlefield, this building isn't safe. Of course, you only realise that once the building starts collapsing around you. God damn it. Check your corners. Uh, you don't remember that until the building starts collapsing around you and you die. How did I die? You were killed by debris. Okay, fair enough. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. I say, like, over, this over Call of Duty, this is still arguably repetitive gameplay. But it's got more more going on than, say, Call of Duty. Oh, that was a guy I was running against. Oh, that was just stupid. Oh, a few squad assists. That's quite nice. Yeah, there's more going on in Call of Duty. You get the weapons, which are pretty cool. Uh, I really like the squad mechanics in this as well. Um, although I have luckily only had one map where I couldn't get into a squad. There were two full squads. You can, I think you can have up to five people in a squad. And that's it. If there's no room in our squad, you have to start a new squad. The squads are great. Not so much in this mode. The only thing they're really useful in this mode is creating extra spawn points. If you're, any of your squad is still alive, you can spawn on them, which saves you having to run halfway across the map just to get into the action. Like I'm having to do now. Enemies picked up the pigeon. Ah! Um, yeah, they help you spawn in. But on the, the bigger modes, like the conquest mode, which is the, the battlefield mode. That's what, battle, that's what you come to battlefield for, the conquest mode, where it's got a bit of everything. Uh, it really helps. You have a squad commander. He can... Whoa, okay. There goes the roof. Pretty intense. Only have yeah, squad squad leaders can set you objectives. Like attack this. Attack or defend this position. It's a bit limited to what it is. But what it does is, as you're going to be capturing points anyway, because that's conquest mode, it gives you extra XP for doing so. Yeah, you got a guy. I killed. So yeah, squads, you do see some people in squads, like, some people don't seem to realise they're the squad leader. Which is fair enough if you didn't set up the squad, but if the squad leader leaves, it tell, and you become squad leader, it will it will tell you. Because uh, the downside, is, well not downside, you can't spawn onto one of your squad mates if they're under fire, as what happened there. He was being shot at, so I can't spawn next to him, because it's too dangerous, you don't want to get shot. I can get myself shot anyway, I don't need to spawn someone or next to someone already being shot at. But that was a waste of... Ah! What a lot one kill from that. Anyway. Yeah, so it's weird that I actually like this because I'm spectacularly bad at it. You see, I'm, I'm 10 for 10, so that's probably as best as I ever get unless I get lucky. Uh, occasionally I've got more from spawning in a tank and being the gunner for a little while. I'll get a few more kills from doing that. But yeah, I'm pretty bad at this game. I normally play as a medic. Um... Uh, because I prefer the range weaponry. But because everybody's running after the same thing in this mode, I think a shotgun just a shotgun just suits this mode better. I'm actually the assault at the moment. The most powerful weapons I've noticed, or the ones I get killed most by rather, and I get killed by a lot of weapons, so I like to think myself as sort of an expert in this field, is either the sniper rifles or the automatic weapons. 
Uh, there's more automatic weapons in this game than I'd have liked because it's World War One, and I remember in school being taught about the whole thing that British, I think it was British troops, were taught they could reload their weapons so fast that the Germans got scared. They thought we'd actually all been equipped with these dreaded fully automatic machine guns. That's what they thought we had, but no, we uh, the British could just reload their weapons that quick. Uh, but now everybody's got submachine guns and assault rifles in this thing. Admittedly, the magazine sizes are very small. Um, the accuracy doesn't seem to cause problems for everyone I come across in this. I don't know whether are what the accuracy or recoil is like with them. But I prefer the the semi-automatic rifles. I like them, and they're a bit more they're a bit more tactical as well. You have to think about you reloading more. See, I'm one of these. If I fire a shot, I'll reload. Now, the automatic rifle my medic is normally equipped with is a, a ten-shot rifle, but it's loaded in magazines of five. Oh, cheap kill. Thank you. Oh, run through the barbed wire. Well, oh, the barbed wire slows you down. I didn't realise that. Damn it! Oh, why did he turn around? It's almost like he's got situational awareness. Yeah, the, the thing I like about it, it reloads in two two clips of five bullets. But what that means is, say you fire nine shots, it'll put a magazine of five bullets in, but then it'll have to manually load four bullets individually. It means it takes longer. It means it's actually quicker in that situation. Ooh. Quicker in that situation just to fire another shot into the air like a cowboy and reload then. It's just quicker to do it that way. And so it adds a bit of an extra element to it. I have played a bit of the support character with the big machine gun. Um, so I'm a big fan of that. And I'm not quick enough on the reflexes and aiming. As you can see, I'm pretty bad with a shotgun up close. I miss enough, let alone with a sniper rifle. As much as I'd love to play as a sniper, I did play a sniper quite a bit in Battlefield 3, or one of the bad companies, I can't remember which. Uh, I'm going to do a separate episode entirely on the single player campaign. I think it deserves talking about. Uh, so I'll reserve my opinions on that for then. Uh, but that's the main reason I bought this and didn't buy other ones. Since people are talking about the single player campaign. But that's it. We've been defeated. Which is really annoying because part of my medal progression means I need to win one of these matches. And I haven't done there. So that's just a bit of a taster. A bit of a different mode and just some of my general thoughts on Battlefield 1 itself. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Uh, there will be another video detailing the single player of course the multiplayer is the main thing people are here for from what i can tell if you're a battlefield fan you're going to like this one and it's quite interesting it being set in a different time uh, i'd love to know how these battle pack drops work obviously all those profile pictures across the top they've achieved something these along the bottom uh, i don't know what have they why have they got battle packs are these just random i don't know one of the many mysteries of life uh, so that's it yeah there'll be uh, another video doing detailing the single player campaign coming up by the end of the week um all that is to say thank you very much for watching all likes dislikes comments abuse threats messages sexual suggestions and disturbing imagery is all greatly appreciated uh, this is a very young channel please subscribe now i'd love to get to 100 subscribers one day so if you subscribe now when that day eventually comes you can tell me how much of a sellout i've become and how much better the channel used to be back in the day so once again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time